Now let's say we had an application problem like we have here. The following are models of total exports and imports of Puerto Rico in millions of dollars. So we're going to use that as T. So that is our you know, um, amount of product in millions of dollars. For 1975 through 1992, where little t, that's my other variable, in 1980. Okay, so those are two key elements. So there's my input, the year, and my output is the product that is generated as either import and export. Um, approximately what year in Puerto Rico's exports began to exceed the imports? So in other words, at what time did the two lines cross and imports and, and exports balance each other out? So again, we could get big graph paper, but no, so we're in the thousands and so forth here. So the first thing I'm going to do is enter these into my calculator. So again, hit Y equals. I'm going to type over these equations here. So I got 13, 12, and little t, my input, I'm going to use as X, and plus 51.66. And then down here again, I have 723x plus 74.29. Okay, so I have my two equations stored in there. Now notice if I hit graph, my standard window, it doesn't get a good picture. One graph it only shows up, the other one's off the graph. Because now I'm in thousands uh, of things. And right now my window is only set to... 10 in each direction. So I'm going to go to window and I want to adjust my window. Now again, we're not worried about back in time or negative exports, so my minimums are going to be at zero. My maximum, you know, we're talking 1975 through 1992, so we're only talking, you know, um, 30 years at the max. So let's do that. 30 years worth, and that takes me to, I don't know if we need 30 years, let's go 20 years from 1975 to 1995. And I'm going to put a tick mark every five years. Y minimum, again, I'm going to set zero because I don't go up negative exports. This makes sense. My Y max. Now, again, here, um, you know, we're in thousands and so forth. So I started at 7,000 here and crime 700. So let's go up to 20,000. I think that should cover it. We want to kind of overshoot what we think is going to be needed. I'm going to put a um, tick mark every thousand so I can kind of see. And let's say graph now. So now we have a little bit better picture of what we have. Now, now we can see the import and export line. Um, the export line is, notice the lower one, and it increases a little quicker. The imports is the upper line, and notice it has a shallower slope, and we can sign it, see the intersection on the graph here. Notice they put a tick mark every five years, so it's before the first five years, and every tick mark on the side, uh, you know, it's a thousand or so forth. So now I'm going to find an intersection. So I'm going to go second, calculate, and I'll find an intersection. So option number five. And it says first curve. Now those, if I move the arrows, I'm on that first curve. The x and y values here tell you where the dot is at that point in time. In the upper corner of the calculator screen, you'll notice the equation that it's looking for. So right now it's looking at the export equation. Say so sure, enter, and I select that curve. Notice the blinking dot, and now move down to the second curve. And I went, yes, want this one, so I hit enter. And guess. So I'm going to scroll over and find my intersection where the two lines roughly come together. Now again, whoops, get that out of there. And again, I don't want it to be exactly here, so I'm going to hit enter. And I don't know if it's somebody doesn't come up. Let me try it again. I think I hit the wrong key there. So again, second calculate, intersection, enter, second curve, enter, guess scroll down. You can't go by the x and y value now because that's just where the dot is. To get a more accurate thing, you hit enter. And the intersection is at 3.8 and 10,206. So 3.8 and 10,206. You know, and there's some sort of decimal. So here is my value. Now that's the point on the graph. We need to translate that to data. So approximately what year uh, did the exports exceed the imports? Well, 3.8 years from 1980 would be 1983 and sometime in the fall, right, 0.8 years later. And this number is in millions. So really we're talking about 10 billion uh, as far as our product for imports and exports. That's where it balances out. So the question is really is well, what year to happen? We answered that question. We asked what was the... Uh, 
amounts of exports to imports at time. Well, it would be 10,206, but then we have to convert that to millions. And now we have 10 billion as far as product. Okay, and this is in dollars, obviously. So that was what we're looking for here. So we have to take our answer and convert it into an answer that answers the question.